Hello everybody, it's Jay Muse and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at a lady that uh, likes to eat mattresses in her spare time. Like, just straight up consumes foam from mattresses, I guess. And you know how people are like, oh, you are what you eat? Well, uh, this lady is actually starting to kind of resemble a mattress in a way. And you know what? I'm just gonna say it. She's kind of a walking mattress because, well, she's a massive human. And, well, the irony in the fact that she eats massive mattresses and is also a person that could be almost the size of a mattress. It's just funny to me, okay? I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but I mean no harm, I promise. Anyway, I thought this video was pretty funny, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and just, uh, I'll give you my thoughts as usual. My name is Jennifer, and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. I love how she says it like, my name is Jennifer and I'm addicted to this shit. And I don't care what you think, I'm gonna do it. Like at this point, there's no reason to hide it. You're eating full blown mattresses. So like, you might as well just own it. Like if you're gonna commit to doing something, then you better go all the way. Like she doesn't even look like she's enjoying it. She's just like, you know what? This is what I'm doing now. I don't care. I don't even like this shit. I'm just gonna eat it. Cause that's what I'm doing. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, <laughs> none of that. There's like a hard texture, like my taste buds are little, you know, kind of like, like a guitar. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Like a guitar? Uh, mattresses aren't usually musical. Yeah, I usually play my mattress foam in a minor key because uh, I'm depressed with everything. I'm eating mattress foam. What do you want from me, all right? My, my shit's not going well, okay? When I found out that Jennifer eat mattresses, I was just dumbfounded. I was like, oh, it blew my mind that she did that. How can you even have that many? Eight whole mattresses are going in your mouth and popping out of your ass? Yeah, I could see you're like spending like three to eight hours in the bathroom like, yeah, I'm popping them twins out of my asshole like babies right now. I can't imagine this actually digesting. Like, I feel like it just goes in and out of your body like nothing even happened. Yeah, I don't buy pillows. I just shit in the pillowcase. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I make sure like when my mom's not gonna be in her room where I could be in her room. So like let's say when she get in the shower, um tiptoeing in here to get it. The reason why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. The side effects of eating mattresses is gas is really the only one you have. Well, no shit, you're gonna get gas. You're fucking up your digestive system. You ever have one of those days where you're taking a shit and it's just not working out, you know? One of those shits that like get you thinking about life and how you got to this point in time. <laughs> you know, the kind of dump that makes you put your hand on your head and you're just like, oh, please, just not today. I can't spend three hours in the bathroom. I got so many things to do, but your body just like nope <laughs> we're doing that today all those mistakes she made last week yeah it's coming all out right now it enters my body and leaves my body it goes through my my system and goes out <laughs> i'm very concerned about her health and like her digestive system because i have seen it in the toilet it comes out in whole pieces I was sitting in the back seat and it was like sponge down there. And I just picked it and took it and was like, just chew it on him. This really makes me cringe because the thought of any kind of cloth or foam or like a napkin on my teeth just like sends a wave throughout my body of just nope, get it out of my mouth. And it doesn't like make me throw up or make me nauseous. It's just like, I don't know. It just makes me shiver a little bit. I don't know how to explain it really. I don't know the right words, but I don't like it. I hate it. I can't put that in my mouth. I can't have my teeth on it. It's just like, nope, go away. Also, I knew it. I knew there was no way that your body could digest this. I mean, you saw that. It looked like somebody just put foam pieces in the toilet, but I'm pretty sure that actually like shot out of her asshole into the water. I've eaten couches, box springs, chairs, but for the last 10 years, mattresses has just been my thing.
Well, shit, I guess in her case, instead of dying, she just starts becoming the mattress. Also, um, who exactly are you hiding this from? Because this is on a TV show, and I know for a fact that this video has at least a few million views on YouTube, so it's not a secret anymore. Most people know about it, at least most people in your circle, and a hell of a lot more random ass people online, too. You think if you were trying to hide something from people, you wouldn't come out in public and start talking about it on a damn TV show. So how often do you eat mattress foam? I consume it every day. And like one sitting, like I would eat like about this thick. You know, the problem you face is you're gonna have a hole in your intestine or a complete bowel obstruction, and it's gonna be an emergency. And emergency means you could die. Wow. Okay, a little fear in my heart there. Now, what exactly in the hell did you think was gonna happen when you eat something that isn't meant to be eaten? That's like eating TNT and not expecting to explode when you swallow a lit match. What were you thinking the doctor would say? Like, oh, you're gonna be fine. You can eat this totally inedible object and nothing will happen to you. You won't be affected in any way. No, he's just like, yeah, if you keep eating this, your intestines will explode. And it's ridiculous to me how she's all surprised about it. Like, whoa, I felt my heart scared a bit about it because like I thought it was perfectly safe I had no idea that eating beds would be an issue imagine if he was like you're slowly starting to turn into a king-sized mattress and if you don't stop you will um, end up in the clearance section of the nearest mattress firm so yeah I'd probably stop now unless your goal is to become the first human mattress it just got serious you can change this I am gonna change this <laughs> I am going to change this. Damn it, these always end the same. It's always like, she wants to quit, but did she? You'll never know, because there's literally nothing else about it except for this one random episode from My Strange Addiction. So obviously, you know my thoughts on the situation. Um, it just goes without saying. You don't eat mattresses. You just, you just eat food that's meant to be eaten, okay? Don't eat anything else. Anyway, that's it for tonight's video. I really appreciate you for watching, and if you got this far in the video and you'd like to be a part of the end of the video club, then why don't you tell me the weirdest thing that you've ever eaten in your life that's actual food not random things mine would be a little baby octopus that i tried at this asian restaurant it was good but it was also really weird because it's a baby octopus and it's like a whole being going in my mouth and being chewed up so i only tried it once and i really don't plan on eating it again but um i do really like calamari so i'll have it that way because it doesn't really look like squid or octopus or you know that it's the same thing ish you know what i mean putting an entire being in my mouth just doesn't set well okay anyway that's it for tonight i really appreciate you again i hope you have a good rest of the night i hope you stay happy and healthy and i will see you in the next video peace